Good morning, it's Heather. It is Thursday and today is day 17 of the holiday double down where I'm doubling down on my integrity challenge. It's going to go all the way to the beginning of the year and help me overcome uh, the binge tendencies that I have for the holidays. And I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who gave me such nice comments. You could tell that that really knocked me for a loop yesterday when I saw how much I gained by not weighing in and, you know, by eating the wrong things. And so I just want to say two things. One is that I'm glad that's over with because that's that's the highest number I'm going to see from now on. I'm going to get this weight off and I'm going to do it during the hardest time to do it in the year. Um, and I'm ready. I know I can do it. I wonder how high the number was before I started being back on track because I've got two weeks plus of being on track. So I don't even want to know what the number was, but all I know is it's going down from here. I am, I am absolutely certain and I feel really confident that I can do it because I've got you guys, I've got a plan, and I've got the determination that this is going to happen. That I'm going to get back down to Wonderland and then get to my goal weight and I don't know when I'm going to get there, but I'm going to get there. I'm definitely going to get there. So yesterday I had a really good day. I ate um, my veggies that I think I, I had um, I had the sweet potatoes and the broccoli and cauliflower and carrots and that was really good and then I had um, some lentil loaf when I got home and I had some blueberries and I had my white bean hummus and sadly I am out of my white bean hummus I have to make more so I will do that but um, so what I brought today is a little improvised because sometimes it's like that, right? Okay, I've got those sweet potato ribbons that are almost like pasta. I'm really liking those. And then you can see I've got some sugar snap peas. And I also have some broccoli and cauliflower just mixed in there. And this is, this container holds seven cups of veggies. So that's a nice big, bigger bigger than my face, full of veggies. And then um, I also had a bunch of carrots that I needed to use up, so I steamed them. And I've got just a, like a giant thing of carrots. I guess there's a, there's a broccoli in there too, but it's mostly just carrots that are lightly steamed that I'm gonna have with uh, Wish You Were Cheese dip. And I left the pepper out of the Wish You Were Cheese dip and I switched it with carrots to give it the orange color and I don't know if I like it. I'm trying to decide, I'll let you know. Um, but I'm trying to avoid nightshades so that's why I took the um, peppers out. Normally, I'm very pro pepper because they have a lot of vitamin C. Did you know that a raw, ripe red pepper has actually the more vitamin C than like six oranges? It's, it's just got a lot of um, vitamin C in it. So um, according to Dr. Greger, Dr. Michael Greger, nutritionfacts.org, you should eat it raw because when you cook it, it loses all that vitamin C, which is why you want it. And it's also got the red, which has got the lycopene in it. Um, so that is kind of sad that I can't have peppers right now. But my knee's doing a lot better. My leg is doing a lot better in general uh, with inflammation. I got over 10,233 steps yesterday, so I'm, I'm getting my step count back up. Uh, so I just don't want to do anything, you know, I don't know if it's the cutting out nightshades. It probably doesn't have anything to do with it. It probably has to do with cutting out junk. Um, I really believe for inflammation, the very most important thing you can cut out is animal products. And um, so a few things had snuck back in, like um, eggs in baked goods and sugar, and then the other thing is sugar and flour. 
are both really big inflammation causers, but animal products even more than those, at least for me. So, um, yeah, you got it. Got all those things cut out, and um, I might try introducing back in nightshades and just see if that was what was helping or not. I also have my lentil loaf. You guys are probably so sick of my lentil loaf, but you know, it's really good. And um, I added back a couple things that I had taken out to kind of simplify it. I added back flax seeds because it helps bind it and because flax seeds are really good for you. I want those lignans. And I was remembering that uh, Dr. Greger says to get your flax seeds. So I added flax seeds back in there. And the other thing I added was mushrooms. Because I don't typically like mushrooms, but I do like them if I can hide them in things. And so I um, put them back in there. As far as my mental health, I'm just really determined. Um, I have to come up with better strategies for work. I do notice that I uh, start looking at the candy bowl at a certain time of day in the afternoon and so I need to figure out a way to um, stay away from it then or possibly maybe I'm not having enough starch in the afternoon, I'm not sure, but I'm going to make sure that I am really on guard between the hours of like one and five that I stay away, you know, from the break room, from the work room, from the dishware, the perpetual Halloween candy bowl sits, and the cookies right outside my office. The thing is, I work so hard to keep my environment clean at home. It just annoys me that I can't, there's things I can't control. I can't control the fact that I live in a world that has candy dishes and cookies outside of people's desks and it's just it's just how it is so I am accepting the things I cannot change for now but I know some of you guys live even with sad eaters maybe you can give me good tips of how you how you stay away from temptation when you can't completely rid your environment of it because I feel like if I lived on a desert island and people just delivered me lentils and quinoa and fresh fruit, I would be fine. <laughs> it's only when I'm around it, I, I don't seem to have the impulse control. So, um, I'm doing other things to try to build up my impulse control, like uh, luminosity brain training and knitting and getting social support and all the different stuff that they say is very helpful for you. Okay. So I have my plan for today. I stayed on plan yesterday. Um, I'm going to be more on guard against stuff uh, today. And I almost can't wait for the next weigh-in because I just know I, I want that relief of knowing that it's going down. That I can trust my body to let go of what it needs to let go of and that I can... Um, watch the numbers start going down again so I hope you guys are having a good day and a good week happy Thursday we've almost made it through the week and um, got a lot of fun things planned for the weekend so have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon bye bye